Hey, welcome to another episode of Music Tips and Reviews with JG. Appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for watching. I don't know why, you know, I just finally got to this this album. Uh, the other day on Netflix, <laughs> you know, for the umpteenth uh, time, <laughs> you know, I was watching uh, Genius, uh, the Kanye West documentary, and uh, I was very inspired by that documentary and i had to i had to uh, review this album because i don't know why you know i haven't got to this this uh album i don't really know if i want to do a ranking of kanye west because i kind of fell off of kanye as, as far as his body is a work uh honestly after uh dot twisted fantasy i kind of fell off you know really listening to it's a lot of reasons uh but uh yeah but uh i gotta review this college dropout i don't know why i never got to this all this time doing youtube uh i didn't review this album so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna get right into it uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so you'll be updated on my latest content uh almost well i'm at three thousand trying to get to four thousand subscribers so uh, appreciate y'all for watching always appreciate y'all support and so uh this album i remember this album came out before the album came out you know people was having you know bootleg version versions of this album and uh you know kanye came out with so many different versions of each song uh different cuts different remixes of these songs and it's just a classic album top to bottom uh Especially seeing Genius, the documentary, you really appreciate the the work that Kanye, you know, from production to uh, features to all that stuff, you know, on this this album. Uh, it took him a while to get the album out because of the powers that be, uh, Rockefeller, you know, they took their time. Uh, they didn't really really respect him at first as a rapper. Uh, everybody always wanted beats from him. You know, if y'all seen the documentary, he go into the Rockefeller office and they don't want to pay him no mind. But he had to put stuff into his own hands. Um, good, His good friend Cootie uh, filmed a lot of stuff. They filmed his first, first song, uh, Through the Wire. That was his first single off this album, College Dropout, which was a, a major success. And so we're going to go through the track list. Of this iconic classic rap album um i love that he was true to himself you know he didn't really talk about shooting up people talk you know he didn't he didn't say nothing that um that he didn't do and that's why i appreciate always about kanye west that he went in his art he he expressed what he's really going through and he you know especially on this album lyrics are very relatable you know and we're we gonna go through the track list uh start with the intro uh, first of all the album cover is genius <laughs> college like a, a, a college or uh, school mascot you know he always represent himself with the bear uh, at the beginning of his career which, which was incredibly genius <laughs> you know college dropout and just the the cover is very iconic i got about his album on vinyl uh but i, I miss this kanye but I know people, you know, people evolve over time. Uh, but start with the intro, uh, D-Ray. I didn't know D-Ray Davis did that at the beginning. I thought it was Bernie Mac himself. Uh, and this whole album produced by Kanye West. Uh, we Don't Care with Keisha Cole on the, um, you know, on the, on the hook. And I just love the, the vibe of this song. Very vibrant. Uh, good way to start off the album with we don't care what people say uh, graduation day like his int like I think people are missing these interludes interludes really connects the albums uh, graduation day I love that you know playing, playing the pomp and cir circumstance uh, all falls down uh, it's a long story about that he couldn't clear the vocals the sample of uh, mystery of iniquity uh with uh lauren hill so he got selena johnson to sing the hook 
All Falls Down. Iconic video with Stacy Dash. <laughs> uh, yeah, Stacy Dash was like everybody's crush. All the guys crush in the 90s. Uh, All Falls Down. Uh, I Fly Away. <laughs> uh, you know, traditional gospel classic. And I like the way he incorporated in here going to spaceships. So, so just the, the sequence of this album was very dope as well. Uh, Jesus Walks. I never forget the first time I heard this. I was headed to school uh, in my car. In my car, I headed to school, high school. And this song came on the radio. I was like, because usually I think like gospel rap sometimes is kind of corny. I ain't going to lie. But when I heard this song, I was like, this is this is real. This is real, like, inspirational rap right here. Uh, Jesus Walks. Uh, I just love the vibe, love the beat, love the video. He had so many different videos uh, for this song, uh, Jesus Walks. Uh, Jay-Z killed Never Let Me Down. I love the line when, when Kanye said, you know, they only let me inside of Sam's Club without my ID. And, uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing the line. But I just love that line, very iconic. They, they made me sure I need to get inside of Sam's Club. That's what it was. I just love that line. And the way Jay-Z comes in and Jay Ivey with his his poem, with his uh, spoken word, was very, very dope. Um, get Em High featuring Common and Talib Kweli. Uh, I love the energy, the way they went back and forth. The way, you know, the way they came in, the way they was introducing themselves when they come in was very dope. Uh, workout plan uh i ain't gonna lie i never really was into this song workout plan <laughs> it was okay it was okay it, it i think it's kind of like a gold digger of the college dropout you know that really mainstream appeal uh workout plan uh, never was really into that song <laughs> uh new workout plan um Slow Jams featuring Jamie Foxx and Twister. This really introduced the world to Twister, even though he was in Do or Die and all those groups way back then. Uh, Adrenaline Rush. Uh, but, you know, a very, very classic song with Jamie Foxx. This kind of reintroduced Jamie Foxx to the world. Um, breathe In, Breathe Out. I do wish Ludacris had a verse on this song, Breathe In, Breathe Out. But still a great song. Uh, School Spirit. Uh, with a skit. He had some great skits up here. Just get you in that, get you in that school spirit. Uh, and then School Spirit with the, the Aretha Franklin sample, I believe. Uh, two words. Kanye killed that. I think he had the best verse on that song. Uh, featuring Freeway and uh, Most Deaf. We go back <laughs> Yasin and Bay now. Uh, Through the Wire. I remember seeing this for the first time on uh, MTV. Very inspiring song, Through the Wire. Uh, <laughs> just the lyrics, you know, they, they ate the pancakes, I sit the scissor. Uh, just stuff like that was very, very iconic. Uh, Family Business. I like, I like that song. Uh, I believe Scarface was about to be on that song, but something happened. And I love Last Call. I love La Last Call. love that song. I like the way he went through his story on how he got signed and, and the things he had to go through to get through to this moment. Uh, college dropout. And Heavy Hitters. I love Heavy heavy Hitters, too. I love that song as well. And I believe that was like on the mixtape as well, you know, that was going around uh, before this album came out. Um... And this is this is my favorite. I believe this is my favorite Kanye West album. Just the fight for him to really push this album, and it becomes you know the Grammy Rap Album of the Year that year, which just amazing, and very inspiring, and just his speech, you know, when he won the Grammy for this album was very uh, touching and very inspiring, you know, and made Donda West, you know, West rest in peace uh she really pushed him you know at the beginning as well very supportive of his dreams and aspirations it was very very inspirational 
and so uh i get this album <laughs> no question 10 out of 10 iconic album you know i i don't have nothing to say about this album <laughs> you know and i in a personal note you know kanye is the one that got me into producing like i was just amazed watching him on diary of kanye west when this album came out just inspired him going around the studio creating magic magic uh just in, very it just inspired me and so yeah this, I, I give it a 10 out of 10 and leave your comments what you thought about this iconic album um uh, let me know your rating and let me know how you felt about my review and i appreciate y'all for tuning in appreciate y'all for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel music tips and reviews with jg and until next time all right peace <laughs>